Researchers in Missouri are hoping to save one of the state's biggest crops, but the solution won't come in time to help this year as a pest from out of state attacks Missouri's corn. WGEM Missouri Capitol reporter Hannah Falcon looked into how this year's crops will be affected. In the middle of campus on Missouri's largest university sits a field of crops. University of Missouri researchers use this field to study one of Missouri's most profitable crops, corn. But this year, researchers like Iver Valmorbida are concerned about a lower crop yield because of a disease affecting corn that's not usually found in Missouri. We don't know the extent of the damage uh, because when we see the symptoms, uh, it's usually later in the season. Corn stunt is caused by these little bugs called leaf hoppers. They suck up all the moisture in corn dehydrating the leaves and causing corn kernels to shrivel up. But they're not usually found this far north. Corn is a multi-million dollar industry here in Missouri, covering at least 3 million acres. 90 counties across the state farm corn. USDA gave an update today on Missouri's corn yield. Despite disease, Brad Suma tells me this could be one of the state's largest harvests ever. We're looking at 181 bushels an acre, which would be the second highest yield on record. The acreage is is down a little bit from last year, but uh, the overall production is still going to be one of the best that we've seen in Missouri. Vel Morbida and his colleagues at the University of Missouri Extension are trying to find out how leafhoppers get into Missouri, if they can survive the winter, and how to treat crops for them. In order to know how to treat the crops, Valmorbida's team is trying to learn how the bugs carry the disease. So we need to understand that relationship and then move into what are the control uh, strategies that can be uh, used against this insect pest. Unfortunately, it's too late in the year for farmers to use pesticides to fight leafhoppers. Farmers need to be aware that they need to go out and scout their field earlier for the presence of the insect or any symptoms so measures can be taken before uh, significant yield losses occur. The university asks farmers seeing signs of corn stunt to send samples to extension researchers or ask for someone to visit their field. Reporting at the University of Missouri, I'm Hannah Falcon, WGEM News.